Okay, this is our data composition scheme and for now we have this perfectly functional plain list variant. I don't want to ruin it accidentally with some incorrect changes. So I'm making its clone and naming it grouped list. Let's check if the variant works. Money reports material. Select this new variant. Create the report. OK, looks good. Now I want to group this list by materials. Get back to the data composition scheme. Right click on the report, new grouping. Select material field here, OK and then I just drag and drop these detailed records inside of the material. So it forms a tree structure. And this is what a user will see. Now we have a tree with material at the first level. We can contract and expand the tree nodes. But I would like to highlight the lines representing the first level of the tree, just to make the structure more clear. Back to Designer. This is the report level settings. So I select Material here, go to Other settings and change the appearance template from Main to C. And this is what it looks like. The materials lines are highlighted. OK, next, let's put into shape this period column. I want to exclude the time from the output and change the date format. Back to the designer. Datasets tab. This is our period column. And this is its appearance settings. I go inside. This is a format setting I need. And this is a date representation. I change it to this one. OK. OK. OK, now dates look as I need. Next, the only columns we are really interested in are cost ending balance and quantity ending balance. Let's exclude others from the output. Settings. Select the report level, selected fields, and now I just deselect all unnecessary fields as checkboxes. OK. Much better now. One more thing. I want to simplify these columns' names. Datasets, cost, close and balance, title. Rename it to cost. Quantity close and balance title. Rename it to quantity. OK. Now, last but not least, item cost column. Uh, this is a calculated column that is equal to cost divided by quantity. So we go to calculated fields and add a new column here named item cost. Here I need to specify the expression to calculate the field. It would be cost closing balance divided by quantity closing balance. Then I go to settings and add this new column to the selected fields. Let's see what we get. Not bad, but there are a few problems. First of all, we need to do something about the column format. Some numbers are integer, others have the lone fractional part. Let's fix it. I go back to calculated fields, appearance settings, format, number, precision 2. OK. And the last issue we've got here is these division by zero values. OK, let's get back to the lesson and discuss how can we fix it.